everyone. Uh, this is the first video in uh, an ongoing series that will be uh, uploaded over the next um, couple of months uh, on how to begin using ArcGIS Pro. Um, you know, ArcGIS Pro is something you, you may uh, be aware of or uh, be uh, slowly becoming aware of or, or, or gaining interest as a, as a way to merge your desktop and, and your online accounts. And uh, it, it really is um, one of the more interesting and efficient software packages that, that ESRI has ever created. And so I'm excited to uh, get to walk through these videos with everybody. Uh, as a note for those who have watched this channel before, uh, I will try to use uh, the same sort of uh, you know methodical, detailed, um, approach to explaining these tools, uh, but since, in a sense, this is the same concepts really in uh, Arc Pro that are you know powering the tools you're using in desktop, uh, it's often really just sort of the mechanics and the muscle memory and the layout um, you know that is really different here, with, with obviously some some exceptions to that, but but for the most part, these videos here aren't going to focus as much on, say, teaching buffer or teaching zonal statistics, um, you know, or teaching spatial join. I think those who are interested in what those tools are and how they work, uh, please check out my other videos that explain them. Um, you know, eventually we may load some like that if there are uh, very fundamental differences in how a tool operates uh, in Arc Pro, but largely, you know, we can, we can bucket uh, a number of tools together in a single video and, and simply just show the mechanics of how they operate and such like that. Uh, I'll also eventually try to load a series of videos that I will call key differences uh, and that'll be uh, through my experience with Arc Pro some of the most uh, noticeable differences in how different tools um, you know or analyses or mechanics operate between the two softwares uh, as a good transition point. Uh, so, but today, the first video is really just going to be uh, getting a sense of, of kind of what it is and, and um, you know, the basic layout, and then some of the next videos will, will start walking through um, some of those elements in, in a little bit more detail. So, when you open Arc Pro, uh, it probably won't look like mine. Uh, only reason is because I signed in already. It'll be the first thing you're prompted to do is to sign into your ArcGIS online account. Uh, if you do not have one uh, or you don't know what that is, then you're probably a couple steps uh, too far ahead here with Arc Pro as the real kind of beauty of this software is that it is allowing you to essentially integrate what you can get on a desktop and what you can get on ArcGIS Online. So it's pretty essential that you have an account, whether or not you do a trial one or, or you have one for your operation, you're going to need to sign in to get the full functionality of this tool. Um, you know, so once you sign in, the best way to start would be to create uh, a blank project. Um, so, uh, you know, I think when you when you first sign up and set this up, it's going to prompt you about setting up a projects folder. Um, you know, you can again, like anything, always browse and choose your own area to save information if if that's better. For now, I'll just keep it in my projects, and I'll call it uh, you know intro to pro project. Um, what is a project? Think of a project as a folder, um, you know, but not a folder necessarily uh, on your computer, but maybe one that's on your desk, you know, one that holds all of the different documents and pages and files that need to be essentially grouped together for a report or a project. Uh, um, that's what a, a project in Arc Pro really is, is it's the universe where all of your different maps, all of your different tools, all of your different processes, all of your different web applications can sort of sit and engage and interact with each other. And, you know, the neat thing about projects that we'll review in uh, videos down the road is that they're designed to really be shareable. Uh, you know, projects are, are, are really called that because they're meant to leverage the uh, online capacity of Arc Pro so that you and a team can be simultaneously working on on um, you know on data and on on maps and, and on such. So basic layout, uh, you know, when it comes to you, you'll notice uh, one looks a little different, obviously, than 
than desktop. Um, you know, the main difference is that it sort of emulates a, a Microsoft program, you know, like a Word uh, or a PowerPoint or Excel by having the, the ribbons up here. Um, you know, another one you'll notice is, is right off the bat, there's no map. You know, when you open desktop, uh, you know, the universe is right there uh, before you. You would essentially have your catalog, or sorry, your catalog and your contents, which look similar, but then there's sort of the blank map that you're eventually going to populate. We can get that here, but as we begin to learn how this application works, you'll see why that's not the case. Maps are an important part of this, but maps aren't the only centerpiece in Pro. Pro can have web apps, it can have what are called tasks, which I'll talk about later, it can have your tools, your models, all of the things that you might sort of open in and around different windows uh, in, in, in desktop can each at their own point take center frame here. Um, and that'll become a little bit more apparent as, as we move forward. So I'm going to uh, ignore the contents for now. That'll become uh, a little bit better to explain once we start creating maps and such. Um, and come over here to catalog, um, you know, which is the really uh, important way to get started when you're working with our Pro. Um, if you were looking at catalog, you know, and I'll open the uh, arc map maybe behind the scenes. Oh, running on a license there. Uh, I'll open it uh, behind the scenes so, you know, if we ever need to kind of refer to it just um, for your muscle memory, we have it, we have it open. So hopefully that's still loading behind the scenes. Good. Um, but it's the same kind of principle over here in your catalog. It's where you're going to be bringing data and, and different processes. Um, you know, it's organized a little bit differently. The toolboxes uh, are, are first. That doesn't mean that these are the only tools. Uh, all of the tools that uh, you would use when you're doing your analytics are going to be available. This is just a toolbox that are created as part of this project. Right? Like I said, the, the point of this is to create these collaborative workspaces um, where you know you and, and, and others from your, your, your team are, are able to, to update information and tools are part of that. And right, it's not necessarily that different from the way that right, if we bring up uh, desktop just so you can you know get a sense and remind yourselves of what it looks like you know it's not terribly different from from desktop except in the way that things are, are organized right they have a toolbox folder too that you can load uh, your own toolboxes or create your systems they have a way to connect the database servers uh, styles is something a little new we'll talk about folders is just where you load your data uh, right now it's kind of blank but you know we'll learn in a second about how you connect to folders you, you can through different muscle memory emulate many of the same techniques and tactics that you would do uh, in desktop. Same thing here, you can build some kind of uh, address, oh dear, address locators. Um, so that's the, the project. And then the, the other thing that really would differentiate it, obviously, that's not going to be in desktop is the portal. And I do not know what you'll see. Yours will look different than mine obviously but yours will look like whatever account you signed into and that's what the portal is is it's showing you what resources whether it's maps or web applications or feature layers and these may be concepts that are foreign to you and if so I would recommend I have um, a playlist on ArcGIS online uh, that you can watch to familiarize yourself with those concepts but that's what you're seeing here, right? You're seeing maps that have been created in your ArcGIS Online account or feature layers. And so kind of that's the seamlessness of Arc Pro is that I can open something that's a web map on my desktop. I can add things to it. I can integrate. I can throw on different data layers. I can repost it online. And it'll have the same effect as if I were working uh, directly in uh, the, the, the web portal. And just so you can kind of see what I mean, um, you know, we're going to add one of those in a second. But before I add one of my online maps, I just want to come up right here to this first thing, um, insert. And many of these we're going to return to in a moment. But I just want to kind of get your sense that using these is how we're eventually going to take what appears to be a kind of a dead space where we don't really have anything to operate with. And through using the combination of these and our catalog, we're going to start 
creating tabs here. And those tabs are going to hold different maps the same way that they might in desktop, which is where we're going to start performing our work. So this will be how we end the video, so I'm not going to do it yet. But anytime you want to make a new map, that's where you're going to go. You go create a new map, and it'll almost be the same uh, way in desktop of creating a data frame. You're going to create a different universe uh, to populate. Layout is when you're ready to go uh, in print mode. Uh, we'll do kind of our own little lesson on that so we can wait. Uh, import map, um, you know, if you have uh, an arc map or desktop or something that you want to kind of bring into this, you can do it. Connections uh, would connect you back to here and be another way of getting a database connection. Same thing with toolbox. We will eventually, when we're looking in our uh, analysis window, when we get to that point, you know, we can jump into all of the tools that we would have in, in ArcGIS, but if you want one kind of on the fly here, you can have it. And then add folder, right? Uh, you know, a little interesting that it's disconnected from, um, you know, where we see it over here, but you can always use what I've said is the most powerful tool in ArcGIS, and it remains so in ArcPro, and you can right-click. And if you right-clicked on the folder, or you did it here, that's how you'd add more folder connections, right? Same thing as the catalog in desktop. Just a way to quickly connect to, and I'll connect to my GIS folder, folders that store data that you might eventually want to bring into your maps. Uh, task, very kind of cool, uh, very new concept uh, with Pro, uh, so we're going to wait to talk about that in a future video. And same thing here with styles. So, you know, with that, I think then the best way to conclude this first video is to actually let's start getting some stuff here to play with in the next few videos. And let's do it in, in sort of two ways. I think the first way is come right here to new map. And it's going to open a new map. And, uh, you know, we're not going to review it in this video. I want to wait till next video uh, so we can really kind of walk through what we're seeing and, and, and what's new here. But it creates a tab that is just called map. And I can rename it as I see fit, when I see fit, but this is going to be essentially the same, um, you know, way that we would be creating a map in desktop. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of my online maps. Uh, you know, this one that was made uh, for uh, previous students about redlining trends in, in Philadelphia. And I'm going to say add and open, and it's going to connect to... Um, the online resources, so it might take a quick second depending on my, my connection right now. And there we go, in another tab, it's going to open my web map. So there I am, able to jump between a map, which right now, you know, hasn't been saved anywhere, doesn't have any data, but I'm going to populate it, and something that is live online, right, that's on my ArcGIS Online account that I'm able to kind of edit uh, and update here. So I'm going to end those videos here. Uh, the next one, we're really going to explore the layout of the map, right? How we get data on it, what the different tools mean, and how they're different than, than desktop. And, and we'll do that for both the uh, primary map that we created and the uh, map where we are referencing uh, an existing web map from ArcGIS Online.